Hi, welcome to the series of automotive sessions. I am Thota Krishna Hema, your automotive expert. So today we would like to discuss about vehicle telematics. What is telematics? Telematics is from two different words. One is tele and the other thing is matics. Tele means at a distance or long distance. Example is telephone, telegraph, these kind of things. And matics means um, which means analysis or processing which is extracted from the word called informatics which is called information processing. So telematics is nothing but monitoring uh, the vehicle information and collecting the data collecting the vehicle information so it which means in simple terms we can call like collecting and processing driving data so the driving data includes like what at what speed you are driving the vehicle at what means like how much distance you have actually traveled how much acceleration you have applied how much uh, brake pressure you have applied what is the time of day swerving uh, and vehicle steering so it's like you know whether you are driving safely or you know if it is a harsh driving or you know what what sort of actual scenario you are uh, you know facing actually that means the vehicle driving condition so this all data it will collect and process the data and it will show uh, uh, show up to the end user in form of web application or the um, Android application or iOS application or any other third party interfaces with the dashboards. So here it is like uh, the wake, the driving data will be collected in telematics control unit. So this telematic control unit is nothing but one sort of ECU like you know uh, which will collect the data from the protocols like CAN, LIN and uh, you know which will ha also have GPS, UART etc and which stores the data inside it like uh, whatever the data we have driving data we have discussed in the previous slide so once after collecting tcu will start sending data to the clients cloud server if the vehicle is already collect, connected to the internet signal uh, so or else like you know in in case of you know if you have if you doesn't have a signal at your location like you know in forest areas or you know uh, village remote remote areas and all like you know that's when like you will have a problem with the internet signal so that's when like you know it will store data for a while and as and when like we get a signal back so it will sync up with the cloud server tcu will get sync up with the cloud server and it will share the information to the cloud server uh, so and uh, once after the cloud server so the data stored in cloud server is accessible by the end user through phone app that is either android or ios applications or web applications or it can be accessible by the third party interfaces as well so here it is like it is represented in a flow chart in the below diagram so what does a typical tcu will have see any TCU is nothing but a small size uh, uh, CPU okay with RAM so which enables uh, it to collect data store data and analyze the data and uh, it will also have GPS to, to sense the vehicle position it will have the communication protocols like CAN, LIN, UART to collect the data and it will have the NLTE connectivity or any other like you know network connectivity or bluetooth connectivity accelerometer and gyroscope to measure linear and angular accelerations photo for uh, firmware updates and uh, security modules like to avoid unauthorized authentication it will have a battery it will have uh, its own uh, driver uh, so software driver like uh, for this TCU so once the data is collected stored and analyzed uh, up to some extent in uh, TCU the TCU will share uh, the data to the cloud server the cloud server has three main components so that is web server application server and database server or master database uh, as and when the vehicle information 
uh, we a cloud server receives so it will store that complete data in terms of granularized packets of data and the data will be stored in master database or database server so with the help of web server and application server the data is transmitted to the web or mobile interfaces for the user to access it so um, in case like you know this uh, the data will get analyzed also um, by and with the help of uh, and with and the resulted statistical dashboards like you know um, the representation in terms of graphical represent means like it's the graphical representation can be seen through third party interfaces because of the data analytics which is happening which will happen inside the inside the cloud server uh, so why we need telematics so telematics helps uh, us to know the exact location of the vehicle instantly as and when we need so you can track your vehicle location and the proactive emergency assistance will be provided by identifying your location in case of accidents or in case of you know car breakdown if it happens in the middle of the road and uh, the particular service station can get an alert or the you know uh, to provide an assistance or the nearby hospitals will get an alert like you know in case of accidents or you know your insurance company also will get an alert like this is what it happened kind of like you know and at this position at this location like uh, the vehicle met with accident and uh, somehow like these kind of you know information will get shared and you can also track your vehicle um, and you can know the exact location of it so it and also enables the protection it provides an, an add-on safety feature that means like it avoids unauthentication unauthenticated access to the vehicle that means which means which keeps the thieves away away from your car it also saves money because it uh, enables or it does route optimization by showing shortest route and saves the fuel of the vehicle till now we got to know like you know how this telematics is helping the end user and user can see the performance of the driver like you know how harsh he is driving or how safe he is driving and uh, he can analyze uh, all the scenarios he can track the vehicle he can uh, make the vehicle much more safer and he can save the cost also like how uh, this telematics data helps in autonomous evaluation evolution means like evolution um, of the autonomous is through ai and machine learning so coding each and every scenario is like you know thousands and thousands of lines of code also it does not satisfy the requirement of autonomous vehicles so each and every scenario cannot be coded so that is the reason this combination of of artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, makes the car to learn on its own from uh, means like it enables to take the decision on its own kind of like you know it's a kind of mini robo or you know how much whatever we can think on so this ai and ml combination um, helps the driving much more easier uh, with the help of this telematic data so each and every day like you know millions and millions of vehicles telematic data is collecting and analyzing in cloud to make future vehicles fully autonomous vehicles that means level 5 autonomous vehicles so uh, this ai technology will collect the sen visual data from the camera sensors to understand the driving scenario and the ml machine learning trains the vehicle to behave in that particular scenario example is like you know if you if the vehicle identifies a signboard of left turn um, then only the vehicle is supposed to take left turn else like the vehicle need to continue in the same road or till it see till it finds out a symbol uh, or you know a sign which will have the left turn so or else like you know it should ask for the driver intervention like the driver intervention scenarios can happen uh, till level four like you know but 
for level 5 vehicles like it should be completely autonomous Com it is completely driverless cars so i came to the end of this topic like if you like this concept click on the like button if you want further more automotive videos subscribe to my channel thank you